Hi, I'm Kari from French General, and this is how you create an indigo vat. A few things you want to keep in mind if you're working with any sort of natural dyes. You want to make sure to cover your surface completely, and you want to make sure that the tools that you're working with wouldn't necessarily be used again in the kitchen. So any tools that you work with for your dye vat should always be left separate and used only for your dye vat. So I've got a three gallon bucket that I've filled with lukewarm water. I've got my rubber gloves. I've got a stirring stick. And then I've got the three elements that are gonna make up the dye vat. So first we've got an indigo. And I'm using what I call a teaching indigo, which is a 60% reduced indigo. And this will allow us to make the indigo vat and then to use it within the hour. Um, I'm also going to be using a little bit of Theox, and that will be the reducing agent. And I'll be using some soda ash. The soda ash is used instead of a lye, which we don't want to use because that would be toxic in this vat. So with these three different elements, we'll be able to mix them in the water. Then the vat will sit for approximately an hour. And after an hour, we will test it on our fibers and make sure that it's ready to go. Okay, so to make up our indigo vat, I always wear rubber gloves because the indigo can get all over everything and anything. So here's our lukewarm water. We're going to go ahead and add the indigo. And since I'm working on a three gallon, approximate three gallon water vat, our measurements will reflect this size. So I'm adding five tablespoons of indigo. And I let that settle for a minute. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add four tablespoons of the Theox. and five tablespoons of the soda ash. So once you've got your three elements into your bucket, you're gonna take your stirring stick and you're going to slowly start stirring the sediment and try to get a good pace going here because really you wanna mix all the elements so that they all dissolve in the water evenly. And as you can see, I'm kind of circling right around the center. And after I've got this motion going for a good minute, I'm going to reverse the direction that I'm stirring and I'm going to drag the stick along the side of the bucket. Okay, we've got to keep it all in there. And as I reverse the stick, you can see that this very small flower bloom has kind of formed in the center. And this is what you want. You want the indigo flower bloom to start growing and this will be collecting all the oxygen, taking it out of the vat. So now that we've made our, our indigo vat, we're gonna cover this and let it sit for about an hour. If you'd like to learn how to use this vat and a number of different shibori techniques, Check out my classes on Creative Live.